Hi everyone, so God is saying that it shall be like a nasty separation. You know those nasty divorces that are not amicable. God is saying that it shall be like that. You are going to go on your own terms, whether they like it or not. They are not going to be blocking your move in the mighty name of Jesus. They can't be restraining you. Have you ever heard of those partners? You find that now when they want a separation, they want the relationship to end. You find the partner does not want this partner to leave. And the only time that they leave is when they are living in a coffin. It's when they end their lives. But God is saying that for you, that is not going to be the case there's going to be a separation that is going to happen whether the enemy likes it or not in the mighty name of jesus because god wants you to move to a better place in the mighty name of jesus because god still has other plans for you in the mighty name of jesus that is why here when you read in the book of exodus chapter 14 verse 5 the bible says when word reached the king of egypt that the israelites had fled Pharaoh and his officials changed their minds. What have we done? Letting all those Israelite slaves get away, they asked. So Pharaoh harnessed his chariot and called up his troops. He took with him 600 of Egypt's best chariots, along with the rest of the chariots of Egypt, each with its commander the lord hardened the heart of pharaoh the king of egypt so he chased after the people of israel who had left with fists raised in defiance the egyptians chased after them with all the forces in pharaoh's army and all his horses and chariots his charioteers and his troops the Egypt the egyptians caught up with the people of all israel as they were camped beside the shore near p across the Baal Sephon. Hallelujah. So you can already see here now their enemies. Now the Egyptians were coming to them with all that they had. They were coming to them with the best that they had. It's like someone who's now coming to you with their best lawyers, with their best resources. They were coming to them to make sure that they get the Israelites. And when you continue reading verse at 10, the Bible says, as Pharaoh approached, the people of Israel looked up and panicked when they saw the Egyptians overtaking them. They cried out to the Lord and they said to Moses, why did you bring us out here to die in the wilderness? Weren't there enough graves for us in Egypt? What have you done to us? Why did you make us leave Egypt? So now you can see that the people were regretting their move because now this person was after them. Now this narcissist Pharaoh was after them now this abusive person was after them and then now they were regretting as to why did we even bother to live why did we even want to find freedom there's no way that today we are going to survive because this person is out here to destroy us they want to end our lives now because we have tried to move but God is saying that they are still not going to succeed it does not matter what they are coming with because God has already declared the separation. To God, the separation is final. The children of Israel were not supposed to go back to Egypt any longer in the mighty name of Jesus. So God is also saying that you are also going to move out of that toxic environment. God is taking you out and you are not returning in the mighty name of Jesus. And you are not going to be destroyed. Yes, your enemies. You can see here the Egyptians were pursuing them now so that that they can be able to destroy them but god is saying that the enemy is still not going to win they are not going to have their lives in the mouth they are not going to hurt your life in the mighty name of Jesus. They are not going to destroy your life in the mighty name of Jesus. But instead, what is going to happen? It's them who are going to go. God is saying that they are going to be the ones to go in the mighty name of Jesus. They will be forced to go whether they like it or not in the mighty name of Jesus. They can't pursue you any longer. They can't torture you any longer. That is why you could see God telling the Egyptians that the Egyptians that you see today you will no longer see them and indeed those egyptians now they god destroyed them with his mighty hand with his mighty power with the red sea so god is also saying 
so god is also saying in your life yes it might be a nasty separation yes you have tried to let certain things out of your way you have tried to get rid of certain things you have tried to get rid of that addiction that you were suffering from you have tried to live a certain way you have tried to get away from that life that is not right for you yes it is constantly chasing you yes it is constantly coming after you some of you you have tried to try out christianity and you left these other things yet it seems like now those spirits from there they keep on following you but today god is saying that it's enough it ends here he is declaring a separation they can't get you any longer they can't scare you any longer in the mighty name of jesus amen